Hi, this is Charlie Hoppus with Fidelitas. I wanted to talk a little bit about how we got started with Fidelitas today. Um, Fidelitas is really a dream of mine that started um, almost back when I was in college back at UC Davis back in the 80s. Um, I worked the 90s in the 90s at Chateau Saint Michel, and then towards the end of the 90s, got more interested in actually starting my own label. So in uh, 1998, I left San Michel uh, after harvest and uh, made my mind up that I was going to try to start my own winery. So the first vintage for Fidelitas was the year 2000. So this coming vintage, 2010, will be our 10th vintage, uh, actually crushing grapes, although we haven't had wine out that long. Um, so the first vintage, uh, year 2000, about 400 cases, and we've worked our way up to right around 7,000, 7,500 cases now with Fidelitas. Um, basically, um, two white wines, Semillon and Op2 White, and a number of different red wines um, that, that are the full gambit of uh, Bordeaux red uh, varietal wines. So we, we have Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Petit Verdot, Cabernet Franc, and Malbec. We do make varietal Malbec, Cab Franc, um, make uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, and a number of blends. And we do feature um, single vineyard wines that we think are very special, Shampoo Vineyard, Boucher Vineyard, um, being two of those in particular, and also have featured Red Mountain Vineyard here within the Appalachian. Um, we do make um, four vineyard specific wines from Red Mountain and hope to do more of that in the future. <clears throat> Recently we've also planted an estate vineyard here on Red Mountain um, of Cabernet Sauvignon, just shy of three acres, three different clones. Hope to have an estate Cabernet. Um, maybe get a little bit of a crop this year but by 2012, we should have enough crop that we can have uh, Cabernet Sauvignon separate and really highlight uh, the local estate vineyard that we have here. 